Well, this is the most amazing origami story where you fold a square piece of paper, make 17 things in the process and in the end make a boat. This the story is about Bablu. Bablu during his summer vacations goes to his grandma's place and he finds there's a very fine lake over here and Bablu thinks it would be very nice if he had a little boat to sail. Grandma gives him some money and he goes to the market and as he's walking by he sees a very fancy store and he finds a salt pepper box. He falls for it and he buys it for his grandma. As he saunters further down the road he finds a store selling ready-made garments. All kinds of fancy jumpers, jackets, clothes and he sees a very nice jacket with a, with a collar and two long sleeves. It has got a beige color so he thinks that grandma is going to like it very much so he buys his jacket for his grandmother and as he goes down further he finds another store selling a pair of very nice trousers and he buys his pair of trousers for his grandfather and further down he finds a big store saying boats for sale Bablu enters it but all he finds is that this store was selling a steamboat with two funnel like chimneys. He said what on earth will I do with a steamboat? I just need a small boat for my small lake. So Bablu walks further down and he comes now to an antique store selling all kinds of period furniture and he finds a steak table. He says grandpa is going to love this table so he buys that and he is now very tired and he finds a windmill and he drinks some water there finds another store which is selling twin boats. He is not interested in twin boats at all. So he walks down further and he finds another store selling boats. And when he enters inside he finds that this store was selling only sail boats. He says no I just want an ordinary boat with which I can war. So now he is carrying this table and he is tired of it and he finds a farmer with a rooster. Farmer is kind enough to exchange the rooster for the table. But as soon as Pablo gets hold of the rooster, it flies away. And Pablo is very, very dejected because he spent all his money, frittered all his money, buying that salt cellar, buying the jacket, buying the trousers. He has no money left. And the rooster, which he exchanged for the big table, has also run away. So he's a bit dejected. His head is hung down and he's walking down the road and what he sees that on one side of the road there is a something lying and he goes close by and he sees oh it's a purse someone's fallen purse and Babu is very excited and he sees inside and there is some money in it so that makes him very happy promptly of course he goes to the nearest ready-made garden store and buys himself a cricket cap a very cool cap and then well, as he is going, walking down, he passes through this glittering market selling all kinds of pretty things and there he sees a photography shop which has got very lovely frames for putting photographs and he likes one frame very much. He says that grandma would be very happy to put my mama's photo on this frame so he buys one. Well. Bablu seems to have forgotten that he had come out to actually buy boats. Then he remembers, yes, he has to buy a boat and he sees the biggest boat shop in town. Discounted boats, boats for sale and when he goes inside, he finds a very nice boat uh, in which two people could sit facing each other and the boat had backrest for both of them. So he said it would be a wonderful board for my grandparents. And this is then he finally buys the Chinese junk. He's happy with what he has bought and then he takes that board and goes back home.